Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my pickups from the flea market. So at one of the flea markets I go to, the one in Rice Village, that's kind of probably 45 minutes away from me without traffic, with traffic maybe an hour away, they have this giant stack of magic cards, probably 50 to 100,000 magic cards. I don't actually even know how much 100,000 is, but I assume it's 100,000 magic cards and in it has all these great cards, or you don't know what's in it. And you can buy any card for 25 cents. So it's all of this bulk card, they buy in bulk for about 10 cents a card or 10 cents a rare, and two cents or maybe one cent a common, two cents a common, something like that. And they buy in bulk and then they resell everything for 25 cents. And here were some of the cards I was able to pick up. This is not a one-time visit. This is kind of an accumulation of several months of my best pickups. We have a play set of these and I actually found them in four different trips. Well, I guess we used to have a play set of these. <laughs> I don't know where the fourth card went, but assume that there's a play set of those. That's actually kind of concerning because it is a pricier card. Sometimes when you just have like too many cards, it's really hard to keep track of how many of them you have, but maybe I'll find the rest of them. These cards are pretty good. I like the, I found these as well in the uncommon bin. So 25 cents a piece for Sword of the Meek and Foundry, but only one Foundry. Core Tapper, I always like this card. I think it's gonna go up in price for Kaladas, and that's why I recently picked them up. I've seen them at the flea market for a long time, but I haven't picked them up until now. Mennonite's pretty good. Coat Steel Heart. Urza's Bubble. Bobble. So the Bobbles, if you don't know, are actually seeing a tremendous amount of play, or they used to see a tremendous amount of play. They don't do so anymore for Delve Mechanic. It's just a free card in your graveyard for Delve. But now that I look at Dairy, Delirium, almost say Dariums. <laughs> The Larium, this card is pretty good because how else are you supposed to get an artifact in your graveyard? You need four different card types and this is an artifact, so it's one of the harder ones to get. It. So I'm collecting cards that go straight to the graveyard or don't cost, a cost zero. This card is very good. I have Black Border ones of this as well. Amulets, Mind Stones, the Rack and black vice so these cards i all got for 25 cents there was a time this card was over ten dollars and it's kind of upsetting because i was so happy to find a place out of them and i'm pretty sure i've lost it so yeah the little bobbles are kind of cool so if you can find if you have a place like that in the flea market and you're willing to spend you know like four or five hours it's a really fun time if you go with friends and it's just you short cards and you have no idea what you find. There's a ton of uh, voice of reason, voice of all, voice of truth. I love collecting that and my friend actually picked them all up. Uh, probably close to a hundred different voices and from mostly from Urza Saga. So it's kind of cool to pick them up for a quarter and it's not expensive. It's just a way to spend a Saturday morning or a Saturday evening inexpensively with a bunch of friends. Hey, look what I find, look what you found. And I, this was probably the biggest gem of the um, find was the bobbles, which now I need to find my fourth bobble because at one time when I found them, they were $10. I did not know they were $10 and I could have probably looked harder should I have known, but you know, all of them were gone. So you definitely can have a lot of fun at flea markets, especially if you go with friends and share experiences and just have a blast. Now that I can think about it, it's probably over a hundred thousand cards. Uh, it's boxes, it's these giant boxes. Assuming each box has like 10,000 cards a piece, they have like 15 or 20 boxes of that size. And it's just bulk, normally just bulk, but sometimes you can find very cool stuff like bubbles. Anyway, Bye, guys.